Hello? Hello, yes, sir? Yes, Dean. Uh, Mr. President, I'll uh, put you on with uh, George Ball here in just a moment. I've been with Mr. Schroeder, and he's been meeting with Bob McNamara and others about the Congo. But the essence of it is that uh, the Belgian cabinet is now meeting at this moment to decide their view on whether it is in the best interest of the hostages to go ahead and drop these fellows tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. But let me put you on with George Ball to bring you, uh, give you a little more detail on it. Hold on just a minute. How are you in shorter, Mr. President, uh, Fox's own view is that it's necessary to, to go ahead with the drop tomorrow morning. He feels that uh, not to do so when that force is assembled would, in his words, be grotesque. The situation is that the column, which is moving uh, by road, will should be there about the not later than the mid-morning. The drop would take place at the first light of dawn, that the combination of these two would... Uh, one would reinforce the other. And uh, we're expecting within the next half hour word that the Belgian cabinet has made this decision. It's, uh, we have to make a final decision in order to get the word there by not later than five o'clock this afternoon, our time here, which is about three and a half hours from now. So we wanted to, uh, to get your reaction to this situation as it's now developed, Mr. President. I don't think we've got as much choice, have we? I beg your pardon? I don't think we've got much choice, have we? I wouldn't think so. We're all unanimous. Bob McNamara is right here and uh, standing by, and, and as well as Dean, and uh, we're all in agreement as to what we have to do if the Belgians decide, as appears to be the case now, that they want to go ahead. Uh, what uh, domestic reaction are we going to get from the Negroes of this country? I think that, that uh, what we have prepared, Mr. President, is a dossier of the kinds of messages that we have been getting out of Stanleyville about the killing of the, the threats to heat and burn and so on, these hostages. I think that this can be represented quite properly as a strictly humanitarian effort. And I don't think that it should create any problems of that kind. We've made it clear that our rescue efforts are directed toward uh, uh, the Congolese as well as toward our own people. That is, that it's not solely a matter of saving the, the white hostages. Is this in any way going to involve us in getting us in there and getting us uh, tied down there? Well, we're very conscious of that, and of course these are not our troops that are being I dropped. understand that, I understand it. Uh, and and uh, we're all very sensitive to the idea that we get out just as fast as we can. That we, this is not a commitment to, to get into a, into a land fight in the middle of Africa. Okay, we'll talk a little later, I gather. But now, we've just had a... Uh, a message while I've been talking to you, I was just handed a note saying that the Belgian cabinet has formally approved the Spock recommendation and that if the United States concurs, they would they would give the order for tomorrow morning. Well, all of you are in agreement, then. We're all in agreement. All right, then let's go. Right. You don't think we need to check anymore? Uh, not unless there's some new development, Mr. President. All right. Would you like to speak to, to Bob McNamara? He's right here. Hello? How are you? I say, do you want to speak to Bob? Yes, uh, yeah, oh, that's good. Yes, Mr. President. How are you? Very well, sir. Are uh, you still get, riding out your base situation? Oh, yes, indeed. The uh, editorial comment has been consistently favorable all over the country. I have Ed Muskie coming in at 2.15. Uh, he and, and the others uh, in that area have been working well with us. I think even New York is going to soften up a bit. Mm. Any other troubles? No, sir, other than this one that George was talking about, which is a very great trouble, but which we're all agreed on. We should go ahead if the Belgians request that we do so. They have so requested. Mm. Are you going to be there all week? Yes, sir. Where are you going to spend Thanksgiving? Home. Mm. Got any of your family there? Oh, uh, my daughter's coming in from uh, Pennsylvania College. Mm. Okay, well, I'll be talking to you. All right, sir, do you want to talk to Dean again? No, you all can go ahead. If you want. He wants to say a word to you. Mr. President, I want to assure you that all of us topside here have been giving this a lot of prayerful thought for the last several days, and our unanimous recommendation is that the, if the Belgians want to go, we should uh, we should let them go. And they, we may find that we'll pick up some corpses instead of uh, everybody alive, but on the other hand, uh, uh, we're going to find some corpses anyhow, perhaps. 
and uh, we think we'll pick up fewer corpses if we go ahead and, and put how many in Bel how, many, how many Belgians involved? 800? There are over 800. Uh, it's about 850. How many Americans uh, in the plane? Well, the air crews involve about 200 Americans in air crews, but they will be preceded by at least an hour's full reconnaissance uh, with uh, uh, T-28 and B-26 uh, escort, and uh, I'm sure that the uh, Force commander there would use an alternate drop zone if, uh, in fact, uh, uh, it looks as though they would, our planes would have to come in over a heavily defended area. Mm. And our crews will stay on the airfield. They're not to engage in any combat operations themselves. They're simply air crews. Mm. How will they defend themselves? Well, they'll, they would, in um, the first place, they'll have these 800 uh, Belgian paratroopers whose primary mission is to um, secure the airfield. Mm -hmm. But um, they would, of course, defend themselves locally. But the estimate, uh, we had one report that, that um, there are only about uh, possibly 250 uh, really armed and trained rebels in the, in the city at this point. In other words, uh, the Belgians do not, do not expect any significant resistance. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Bye.